All right, here's my next recording. Yep, you guessed it, I'm back. Now, this time I have a special type of recording. Now, I understand last time Minecraft was a little uh, weird, but it was just a test, caught me slack. Now, the units that I have before me, first of all, this is called Tabs, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. This is probably one of my most favorite games. Um, Landfall Games made it. Oh my god, this game is just too much. Like, so many funny things in this game it isn't even funny. Black Sleep. <laughs> that was redundant. <laughs> so, yeah, right, what I have right now, today I will be testing out a very special unit. The Blow Darters. Now, these guys, in large numbers, like the archers, these guys are brutal. These guys have explosive barrels, which they probably won't last long, because once they shoot them out, forget it, they're done. But, um, yeah, let's see what happens. Alright, so there's a bit of a lag problem going on. Yeah, I know. Because there's a lot of units and a lot of effects, but that's all I got. Now, <laughs> look at them. <laughs> yeah, they didn't stand a chance. They didn't. Wow. Okay, so the blue team obviously got crushed because they were basically suicide bombing. Now, what if we tried a lot of peasants? Now, in mass numbers, these guys can be threatening. I'd say compared to the poachers or the blow darters, these guys are second or third best. Again, they are very effective, but not as effective as these guys. Because look, watch this. You see? They get poisoned, they go down easily. They go down easily. End of story. Now, <laughs> now there's probably, there's so many more units I can probably test out in this. Uh, like Boxer, yeah, let's put Rocky Balboa's brother in here. <laughs> I'm kidding. Now, put a bunch of these guys in here. And again, as the boxers are, again, very effective in large numbers. You know what? Let's make it fair. What if, um, since these units, these poacher, well, not poachers, sorry, these blow darters are very overpowering, I think it's fair to put in just a few flintlock in the back so that, that way at least they have some shooting units too because these units on the left are just too powerful well i mean they're powerful but they're not as powerful as certain other units like the ice giant i'll show you that shortly oh yeah they're getting beaten okay so <laughs> So, you're probably thinking, oh, what would happen if there was no flintlock? Well, uh, something, yeah, the boxers might get close for a short time, but, again, these, these darters are just, they're nasty. Okay, yeah, so they're bunched up together, that's not good, they might overpower them. Oh, yeah, yep. Okay, so apparently, so far in this game, from what I know, uh, only the boxers are effective against these things. Unless if it's, uh, how about this? Put three reapers at the beginning. Now, the reapers are also very powerful. Yeah, put that in slow-mo. Ooh, it's only, that's a face only a mom would love. <laughs> now, the tentacles coming out from the back, they grab you, or at least the units that you have. But these guys can poison them, causing heavy amounts of damage. Like, see, look. Yeah, they didn't stand a chance. But now, I mean, take a look at this as well. There's also vampires, which actually, if I recall correctly, I tried blow darters against vampires before, and they they really wreaked havoc on the blow darters. Yeah, I know, it's, it's funny how I'm saying it, get used to it. Anyways, 
Okay, so they shot a few out of the sky. But again, these guys, they're, un they're almost unstoppable. But if you have enough of archers, range units, possibly melee combat ones, you should be able to um, take them out. Now, let's try something a little more serious here. So, I mentioned before that the Ice Giant, or Frost Giant, whatever you want to call it, these guys are also nasty. Even in large numbers. Yeah, they're slow, they're sluggish, and they basically move like tanks because they practically are tanks. So, for example, let's just start off with one Ice Giant because these ones are powerful and these ones are powerful. So it's like an unstoppable stoppable force meets a moving object. Something like that. Oh, immovable objects. <laughs> yep. Okay, so obviously these guys are still too powerful. So let's kick things up a notch. Alright. <laughs> yep. The poison kicks in. And any second now, they should either. Oh, yep. 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 Okay, so the Frost Giants are doing better, but only because they were having large numbers. So it could work either way. If I could put more of these guys in the field, it, they would beat them, vice versa. So, in terms of the Ice Giants, I would consider that a draw. But let's move on from the blow darters for now. So, um, what if we tried something a little more, uh, okay. In the Renaissance era, we have musketeers, which were the early forms of rifles. Um, but basically these rifles would be, they're effective against many obsolete units. For example, uh, shield units. Yep, doesn't matter if they're shielded, their bullets will go right through it with ease. And in large numbers, forget about it. They, they won't last a second after. So now we have a new uh, test. Sorry, I got caught out there for a second. But now I have a new test for this game. This test... You guessed it, the tank. Now, every country around the world has a tank. At least one or more. What if, let's say for, I don't know, craps and giggles. I don't know. I don't care. They, we have China versus the U.S. Now, if the U.S. ever invaded Chinese soil, we'll see how this goes down. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so China would would give them a lot of casualties. But as you probably saw, they did some themselves. Now, with all seriousness though, what if we put what if they? it was the other way around? What if it was U.S. soil being attacked by uh, the People's Republic of China's army? Let's see. And we can already know because they're outnumbered in this part of the case. Um... Okay, quite a messy battlefield, and yes, I rest my case. Now, uh, before we end today's video, I would like to test another unit, if I can find it. Okay, the Mammoth, you know what, yeah, let's go with the Mammoth, just to end out today. Now, the, ma the Mammoth is... 
quite possibly another powerful unit, but it has a weakness. The Skeleton Archers. You guessed it. These guys not only... Okay, let me just address the literal elephant in the room. <laughs> Except it's not an elephant. <laughs> now, these guys have fire-tipped arrows. Now, I can't even explain the amount of damage once hit by them. It's unbelievable. Even the mammoths, I don't even think they'll last. Eh, might prove me wrong. Well, let's see what happens, shall we? So the mammoth's coming in. They will start shooting. But once they do, um, the mammoths will take heavy amounts of damage. Yeah, you see? Look at that. Look at that. Exactly what I'm talking about. These arrows, aside from uh, the blow darters, are very effective. Yep. So that's about wraps up this video. But if you guys want to see more tabs in the future, uh, totally accurate battle simulator, then comment down below. And I might make another one. I'm also going to make a Crusader Kings 3 one. Who knows? Probably very shortly or a couple days from now. I don't know. Don't ask me questions. Alright. Peace out.